basically we're going to review um, Odon aka Osibi's Shaolin game. I'm going to go through some of it, uh, explain what mistakes he made, but also what good things he did. And so hopefully he can learn from it and hopefully all of you can learn from it. Um, again, if you didn't already know, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel. Um, and if you do that, then you have the option to submit a game that I will then review. Now the real question is, can you see my mouse cursor through this? No. Hold. Oh, you can't see my mouse cursor. Good. Good, good. I'm not going to bring out the paint this time. I'm not going to bring out the paint. I'm just going to go with the mouse cursor. Should be enough. Should be visible enough that you can see what I'm uh, what I'm going through. Now, let's see. I'm going to see if I can find... I'm going to see if I can find the scoreboard here so I can see what he's playing against. Here we go. Alright. So, Frog Isle, you're Shaolin. You have... You have no healer, you have a Grok instead, but you have a tank. They have healer tank and secondary healer with Pip and a Bomb King and a Mave. So your goal this game pretty much, number one, you're killing the Mave. You're making sure that the Mave's getting no value. Every time she double jumps, you should shoot her. Every time she tries to jump you, you should stun and cure her. Um, other than that, general damage on the Bomb King. And then lastly, shred the barrack, shred the barrack uh, barricade, and also just general damage on the Ying and Barrack. But your main priority in this game is like making sure you're shutting down the Mave, making sure that the Bomb King, every time you poppy bomb, like tries to poppy bomb in, you punish that. And then just general damage on the Pip, Ying, and Barrack, especially on the Pip, or on the, uh, on the Barrack Barricade every time he puts it up. That's, that should be your general plan in this game. Alright, number one, just as a general thing, for the start on Frog Isle as Shaolin, it's, I would recommend going either in the window, um, in, in the window up here, or all the way right. It's fine going left, but that's more of something, like coming down here to the stairs is perfectly fine, but I would recommend doing that later into the game, when you know what they're doing, when you see their initial, initial attack basically. That's when you want to say, okay, well, I'm going to mix it up this time, and I'll go down here to the left. There's nothing particularly wrong with going to the left. It's just when you don't know what the enemy's going to do, and they have something like a Bomb King and a Mave that can easily just one-shot you, it's much better to just start in the window, get an overview of everything, and see, okay, I know where everyone is now, and then you can come down here to where this cast is going, right? Once you have an idea, once you can see everybody, then, you're, then you can get closer, then you can know what they're doing, and thus can conclude what you're going to do basically in response to it. So I wouldn't recommend coming down here at the start, but it's it's not a huge deal, it's just something that uh, is worth pointing out. Either way, you get the first pick on Mave, which is good. And this is this is basically your general plan here, is you want to be up close, like you want to be you want to be this mid mid-range fights basically, that's your strength. And especially now that you got the few the couple kills, now you can just push up basically. Obviously you don't have a healer. So, normally I would say push really hard here, but since you don't have a healer, you're playing it just fine. Like, sit back and chill. But you should probably actually get out of combat. Like, there's no reason for you to be shooting right now when you don't have a healer. You need to, like, heal up. Because this is going to bite you in the ass. The fact that you didn't heal that whole time is really going to bite you in the ass. Like, you've been 400 HP, 500 HP for the last 30 seconds. Like, again, you've, you've already won the point at this point. Like, just heal up. You don't you don't have to help on these kills. Here you should be dead. Unless this pip is horrible. Yeah there you go. Just generally speaking, like when you don't have a healer like that, make sure you're actually healing out of combat because you're gonna get punished otherwise. Obviously the, this team isn't the best so you're not really getting punished for it but and if they had an Andro, if they had an Alex, anything like that, they would easily just like one tap you there. So you gotta make sure you're actually healing up. It's a fine play. The left flank is fine. 
It's good that you went back to your team. You probably could have stayed there by the steps, honestly, because you can fight pretty much anyone on their team. Like, if the Pip decides to push you, you can fight him. If the Maeve pushes you, you can fight him. So you may, you may as well have just stayed there instead of wasting your F to get back to the team. But either of them is fine, really. Alright, at this point, you like... This is when you've started to snowball already. Let's just... There you go. You've already started to snowball a lot. So this is when you want to start getting an angle. Like, instead of stacking with your Makoa and your Grok, this is when you want to get an angle in the fight. You want to be back here, like, behind the rock, or you want to be down here to the right somewhere. So, like, one, once you start the snowball, it's all about positions, right? Even if the Cassie died, there's no point in stacking up with your Makoa. The only thing you have to do in regards to the Makoa is be in a position where if he hooks someone, you can shoot that person. As long as you can shoot whoever the Makoa hooks, then you can go wherever you want on the map. So going off to one of the sides where you can get like a quick stun and get a get a quick pick is usually better than just stacking on, on the cart. Like the only time you should really be on the cart is if you actively have to push it. Like if you have an aggressive team comp that wants to push up really really far, then you're generally going to be the one sitting further back. But since you have a Makoa and a Grok who are both very good at sitting on the on the cart, especially the Grok, then you want to find an angle. You want to go off to the to the right or left and try to get uh, a better angle on them. It's a fine use of your ult. Um, you didn't get much for it because your Mako and Grok both died. It was That wasn't really your bad. It's like, there's you may as well just ult there. You're gonna get a lot of, a lot of those ults where you pop your ult and then your whole team dies, so. I'd probably recommend going off to the right. You see your whole team on the left. Yeah, there you go. Go off to the right. You want to be away from your team where people aren't expecting you, basically. So you had a good good game sense there to follow up uh, that way. Your team is kind of just struggling right now to just get through the through the stack, basically, which is not something really you can do about. The best thing I could say would be if they're really struggling getting through that barricade, then you have to maybe deal with it, especially since your team doesn't have Wrecker, it's just you. But you can do that from other, other places as well. When you're here on the right, for instance, you can just pop your Q and kill that shield so your team can get through it. I would not pop your Q like that just to heal up. Just get out of combat. Get around a corner and heal up out of combat. It's, don't don't waste your cooldowns trying to heal up Lushalin. It's not worth it. Your Lex has potato awareness, so he's not actually helping you with the seeing, but, you know, what can you really do? Again, you're kind of going too close to the cart, like, there's no reason for you to be here. Like, you could have been off, yeah, see, this is the better. Going here, or even going all the way around here to the right, up here, is pro you're probably better off going up here, or just cutting through here and going to the left side. Like, you're too close to the cart. I mean, your whole team is too close to the cart, but you especially just should be nowhere really near it. Like, especially when you actually have a healer and you can be more aggressive, then you should be in one of these angles and you should be, like, in a, in a position where you can get some quick pop shots on someone, basically, and they can't do anything about it. And then if, you're, if they decide to go on you, that's when you can disengage to your team, you know? Again, just two seconds. There you go. That's, that's what you should be doing. You should be going off here to the left. I mean, staying in the Grok is never a bad thing, but like now, for instance, there's no reason for you to be here on the cart. You should be off on the left side. That way that Pip couldn't wrap around you, for instance. Obviously, since, as I said before, they're not great at punishing, so... Again, you can see how much damage you're just taking from being on the cart right now. Oh, that was a classic, use your stun and didn't get your planted because it uh, was on cooldown. Feels good. The classic. Yeah, it seems like the biggest issue is definitely like you need to be willing to split up from your team. It's hard when you don't have a healer, but it's really important that you actually get both, both you and the Cassie should be like just splitting up. Like split up, have different angles, poke each other's targets basically. You both shoot the same target or you shoot a shot and you call out that person's low now so that the Cassie or the Lex can clean him up. That's your job. Your job is to force them to deal with something other than the point.
I mean, that's the job for any carry, really. You always want to be doing that. You always want to be forcing them to fight away from the point when possible. That's the ultimate goal of any carry, especially flankers. But Shaolin can, could be considered a flanker in some scenarios, so... Especially on a map like Frog Isle. It's good that you're mixing things up. I don't think you have to be this far back. Like, you don't have to be this safe with the team comp that they have. You're probably better off just going more, going straight so you can get more damage off early. But again, like you're too, you're too stacked up here. Like, just go. Be willing to go off to the side a bit. Be willing to leave your team and get more angles. You know, like going up on the platform or going down to the left after you get the initial kills. You know. Alright, at this point, you should probably be coming down to the left here. You can stand in the window, get some, get a couple shots, but you should probably come down to the left. Like, you have people fighting on the point, and you're sort of losing the fight. And these guys are probably about to die, so you want to be down here on the left, where you're at no threat. Because they're not going to have anyone that's down here. They're going to be committing really hard to these last two kills. So you want to come here down to the left, and just basically punish them for when they try to get greedy on these two kills. Because they're going to go all in on those kills. So you come down to the left, and you get some poke off. If you're up here, you're closer to them, so like you don't you don't get as much as much value. You're not gonna get as many free shots basically. You're putting yourself at much more risk by going up here, because they're actually there already. If you had gone down to the left, you might have been able to get more free shots without taking any damage, so you could have been there for longer. And also now, since you went on the right side, you end up dying, which means your team's even more staggered. I mean, that's the ultimate goal there, is that you don't want to die. Even if you're not getting your shots off, and you're not getting any confirmed damage, you still ended up dying. Like, you're still... The goal is to end up not dying, basically, and you did that, so... This is more what you want to be doing. You're not... Like, you're close enough where you can help your team at any time, but you're also still a bit split off so that a barricade's not going to block your shots. Like, there's no, there's no reason to be on the point when you can be in a place like this, where you can get the same amount of damage, and you're just in a different angle. I mean, that's always so important, just having a different angle than the rest of your team, making sure that they have to look multiple directions. That's the ultimate goal. And again here, like, you could immediately go down to the left. Like, if you went down to the left and went up the stairs instead, then you don't really risk dying because they're fighting your team, and you get a better angle. Like, they, like look what your Cassie's doing right now. The Cassie's behind them, getting free damage on them. She's not really taking any damage. It's just, it just allows you to push, you know? It allows you to force them to deal with you. And that's the ultimate goal. You want them to deal with you. You want them to go, oh shit, we need to deal with the Shaolin back here. And then you can mix things up again. This is better. This is more what you want to be doing. You're not, they're not going to be able to punish you here, really. And now you're back on stacking again. It's like you, again, you just, there's no reason for you to be on the cart here. You had a good position you, and you gave it up. Like it's fine backing off for a moment while the Mave's ulting, but you should have just backed off, or you should have backed off and then gone back to the same spot again. Like it was a good position. And here again, like now you're in a situation where you have five people on the cart. They're all dead. They're coming out of spawn and you have five people on the cart. So you have no way of actually stopping them. Like, you have no way of actually stopping them coming to spawn. You should be up here somewhere. Like, if you push up here, you have a much better angle on when they're coming out of spawn, you know? Because then you can shoot anybody that's going on the cart, plus you can shoot anybody immediately coming out of spawn. And yeah, I don't think, I don't think you should have had resilience. There's no real reason for you to have resilience. The only time you should have the resilience is if you're stacking with your team and you're afraid of getting chickened which isn't going to happen, because you shouldn't be stacking with your team. Like, if you ever get chickened in this game, it's either that the pip is very angry with you and wants to kill you specifically, or you're stacking with your team too much. Skip ahead a little bit. It is good though that you're changing things up, like going right one time, going left one time, going through window, that's pretty good. But you should also consider why you're doing it though, like in this scenario you saw, in, the, in this scenario you saw that no one was left side, they all went right side. 
So that's an opportunity for you to go, okay, well, I'm going to go left then. Like, you could have been controlling this whole area down here. The Maeve wouldn't be able to get by. Because now, now you're in a scenario where, okay, Maeve's getting by. She's probably going to kill this Cassie. I mean, maybe not because it's a Maeve, but if it was any other flanker, this Cassie's dead 100%. But if you were down here, then you would have had a free, free shots on anyone that's up here by the point. But you also would have been, you would have had control over this Maeve. She wouldn't have been able to flank. So I think if you had been, like, once you go to the window, you see they're all right side, then you should immediately just drop down here to the left side. You get free shots on anybody that's up here, plus you stop the Maeve. Now you're in a scenario where you're basically covering your Cassie's ass, she still dies, and now your team's all dead because you're 2v1ing this Maeve, essentially. Whereas if you had... If you had, if you were on the left side, then you would have had a much better angle. The Maeve wouldn't have got by, and none of that would have happened. You know, so that's just an example of like how going in a certain position and having a certain angle will just stop, prevent things from happening, basically. And again, like you're stacking with your team here, you should be covering the left side for that Maeve. Like, be willing to go off solo much more, like, especially as a Shaolin who can really punish anybody in 1v1s. Like, Shaolin's one of the best 1v1 champions, so... Getting an angle instead of just standing here with the, with the team is gonna help you much more. You can even just stand here in the, in the little window, and if you just stand here in the window and just peek out, you can see if anyone's coming on the left side, and then you can punish them. Like here in this scenario, if you're standing here, I mean, your Lex probably wouldn't be down here normally, but... If there is no one here, if you're standing here in the window, you can see if anyone's coming here. And if they are, you can choose to either drop down on them, or you can go back to the left and go to the stairs. That way you're covering that angle. I mean, this is mostly your team's bad for being shitty at zoning, but... I mean, even so, like, you want to be holding... You want to be holding angles, especially as Shaolin. Shaolin, Cassie, Drogos, that's your goal, right? You're in a position where you can always help your team out, but the main thing is you're holding an angle, making sure that no one can flank, making sure that um, no one's in a situation that can really punish your team. Here you should probably be pushing really hard. There's no reason not for you, for you to not get behind them here. You should be doing what your Cassie's doing. Like Cassie, your Shaolin can be played very similarly to Cassie, where you just kind of you get an angle, you sit back, and then once they start getting low, and once you start winning the fight, then you push really hard. Use your F to get into them and just go in and go ham, you know? Again here, same thing. Like, you're, you're fine here in the window, but there's no one holding the left side. There's gonna be a Maeve behind you momentarily. There she is. And that's why you need to be holding that angle. Because at the end of the day, like, sure it worked out that time. The Maeve didn't kill you and you ended up getting the kill. But the one time that the Maeve does manage to kill you there, that can cost you the fight, you know? That can just cost you the whole, the whole, the whole game, basically. <laughs> if you end up dying there and you don't get a return kill.